Hi all, in this video let's talk about Gateway. We are going to implement Gateway using a Spring Cloud Gateway. Before that, let's understand in what scenarios we need Gateway. So when we are working with microservices, we can have multiple clients, right? So different client needs different APIs. So for example, we might have consumers on mobile and web, right? So for every consumer, we don't want to update our APIs. So hence what we can do, we can use the Gateway in between our clients and microservices. Now second is like uh, providing consistency. So when we do any changes in our microservices, the clients will be interacting with gateway only, right? And will not know about the changes in the backend, like whatever we have done to our microservices. Okay, so by doing this, uh, we are just providing consistency to all our clients. So they will only interact with gateway and will not know about the changes in the backend. Other use case is like just to provide a unified interface to our clients. We don't want uh, clients to keep the track of our microservices, right? So where my microservices are and running where it is deployed and all those details so basically we are providing an abstraction between our microservices and client uh, using gateway next is we can implement some cross-cutting concerns uh, like resilience and security why because it is better to have some logic in gateway than duplicating the logic in all the microservices right so in that case also we can use the gateway so let's go ahead and create our spring boot application for our gateway so again, I am going to use my Spring Initializer. Just provided all group artifact name and the package name and all. About the dependencies, the very first dependency we required is Spring Cloud Routing. Other than this, I will just add actuators and my Eureka client. So let's go ahead and generate. So now I have imported this gateway into my ID and I have renamed my application dot properties file to application ML. So now I will add the basic configurations required. Okay, so I have added the server port application name so i want to register it with eureka so eureka url and to manage my actuator endpoints i'm just uh, allowing all the actuators endpoints so that i can use them now as we know that spring cloud gateway provides a simple and effective way to route to our apis right so now in order to route the incoming request to my gateway to the respective microservices we need to define some routes so there are two ways we can define uh, these routes so we can use our java code by using spring reactive programming we can do that also with the help of configurations in my application.ml we can do that so i'll show you both the ways how we can do that so let me open my application class so here we have to define routes let's go ahead and create bean of it so let me create a bean so i want to create my route so i'll name it gateway route and it will return my route locator now in order to have that bean we need a route locator builder so i'll call it builder now we have to return this route locator right so we'll use builder dot routes dot build okay so whenever we are defining our routes mainly we need to consider three things so first one is a route so route is defined by uh, giving identification uh, destination url and set of predicates and filters second is a predicate it's a java 8 predicate for matching the http request uh, by using headers methods parameters or path right so whatever request we are receiving to our gateway so we will use the predicate for matching the http request now filters consider a scenario where you want to add some additional headers or additional information before routing the request to the microservices that you can do with the help of filters and also if you want to return some additional information like some header and all uh, while returning the response from microservices uh, we can do that as well using filter let's go ahead and create a route route so here you can see we can define a route like with id and without id so for now i'll create with id before that uh, i'm going to define this route using java for one of my microservice so we are going to do it for our shopping cart microservice and uh, we will do the routing configuration for our product service in my application ml file so let's go ahead and do that the id to this route i'll give shopping cart route and then next we have to define the predicate specification so let me do that so i'll call it route specification i'll use the ramda expression route specification now if you see we have like readily available specifications like basically this predicates that we can use so we can use the path the method headers and query parameters like if we are passing some query parameter we can do the on that as well so we have number of options to do so for now i'll do it on the basis of path in this path i will define shopping cart whatever request i'm getting if this pattern matches what we will do we will we will route it to our microservice right so here we can define our uh, service url 
like localhost and port right we have already registered this gateway with our eureka so we are going to fetch service detail from that eureka instance okay and also i just want to load balance that in case i have multiple instances of my microservice how we can do that so for that what you have to do is lb and the name of your application registered on eureka so for my shopping cart uh, we have shopping cart service so whatever pattern which will match to this pattern we will forward that shopping cart service and we are getting the details from our eureka server so next while returning the response i just want to add some custom header in my response so for that we can use filters so in this filter let me have lambda expression and if i see we have couple of uh, like filters that we can use right we can set the path add response to the header then we can add request header parameters body and lot of things right so for now i'll go ahead and just add the response header so i will pass header name and the value so header name for now i'll keep it response header this is just for uh, example so i'm just keeping it and here i'll say scr nothing but uh, shopping cart service so let's call it scs shopping cart service whenever i am returning the response i will add this header to my response so this is like a basic you know, configuration which is required in java so let's go ahead to my application.tml file and do the configuration for my product service so we need spring cloud gateway routes and in this routes we need to define the id right so hyphen id followed by the id so like we have given this id right shopping cart route so let's go ahead and give for product service so i'll say product service route id okay so this is my id next we have to define the path so we'll define the path using predicates under predicates we have to define the path equal to i'll define my pattern so i'll say products star star so whenever i have anything which will match to this we will route it to product service right so again i am going to use that to lb my product service the name of my service registered on eureka for this also we will define our filters for that we have to configure filters and inside this filter we can use add response header so i'll say so i'll pass the same header with some different value comma the value so i'll say product service ps for product service let me type so this is the only configuration which is required so now you see load balancer url we are using right we have configured so if i show you the eureka we have our product service and shopping cart service registered right the application name is in uppercase right so if you see product service and shopping cart service are in uppercase but in our application properties ml file we have defined the name in lowercase right when this load balancer comes into the picture and try to search for this product server like instance name on my eureka server it won't be able to find out like because it is in lowercase and instances registered on our eureka server are in uppercase right for that there is one property that we need to add so let me add that property as well so the property is spring cloud dot discovery locator so here we are making this lowercase service id to true if you don't want to use this flag then you have to use product service in uppercase uh, this will also work fine now let's go ahead and boot gateway and try to hit our microservices via gateway i am having error so the reason here we have to use the equal and in path also we have to use the equal okay let's try to run our application again so this time you can see my application is started and registered on eureka server as well so let's go ahead and check my eureka server so if i refresh yes i can see my gateway instance on the eureka server now let's go ahead uh, and hit our services so first let's try to hit product service directly okay so let's get the port number on which my product service is running so it is running on 56869 so let's try to call it directly first and then we will make the call via our gateway i can see 200 okay if i show you the response headers you see we don't have our custom response header yet right because we have done that configuration in our gateway so let's now go ahead and hit via gateway so my gateway is running on 888 port now if i try to hit okay so it says uh, service unavailable so let's check the logs 
my gateway no server available product server okay so it should be service let me save it rerun our application okay now let's try to hit our application yes this time you see i have 200 okay response via gateway and if i go and show you the headers now you can see we have this x response header product service rsp header so this header is configured at gateway so gateway is taking care of it right so this route configuration we have done in our application ml file so let's try to hit our shopping cart service for which we have done the configuration in our java right so we will call this via gateway 888 for user id 40 if i click on send yes i see 200 okay if again i go back to my header here you can see we have x response header so both the configurations are working fine so this is about this uh, gateway like we have just now implemented the gateway we are able to make call our downstream services microservices so that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one thanks